Warzone Pacific is finally here and that is why I have put together this video with lots of different things that you can do within Windows that will hopefully fix the issues you're having with the game crashing, freezing or giving you those annoying dev errors. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and you do like this video and you want to see more videos on how to fix issues with Call of Duty and other games on your computer, then be sure to click on that subscribe button because we're always doing new videos. So the first thing you need to do is just ensure that your system does meet the minimum requirements to run Warzone Pacific. I will pop a link in the description below where you can view what specs you need. And obviously if your system doesn't meet the minimum requirements, then you're gonna have issues with the game crashing. So once you've done all that and you're happy, the next thing you need to do is just ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you don't have the latest driver installed, then this can cause lots of problems when it comes to crashing. And also if you don't have the latest driver installed, then you might even be lacking on the FPS. Installing the latest driver can help boost performance in the game. So be sure to install the latest driver. I will pop the links in the description below to AMD, Nvidia and Intel where you can get the driver for your graphics card. If you're unsure what graphics card you do have in your system, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, selecting device manager and then expanding display adapters. As you can see, I have a GeForce GTX 1660 Super which means I would need to go to the NVIDIA website and then download the driver for a GTX 1660 Super. And once I've downloaded it, I'd then need to install that driver. So once you have installed the latest driver for your graphics card, the next thing you need to do is just ensure Windows is up to date. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to click on settings. And you now need to select update and security. And you now need to click on the check for updates button. If Windows does detect any new updates, it will then install those updates. So I am doing all these steps in Windows 10, but the steps are very similar in Windows 11. So once you have updated Windows, go ahead and launch Warzone and see if that has resolved the crash and freezing or dev errors that you're experiencing. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure that your computer is not overheating. If your hardware is overheating, then this can cause lots of problems. And not only would it give you crashing or dev errors, it could also make your computer blue screen. So it's very important to ensure that your computer is well ventilated. And also if you're confident enough, take off the side cover of your computer and just ensure that it's not all dusty and stuff like that inside. If it is, then give it a good clean. Obviously do your research first finding out the best way of doing this. And like I said, if you're not confident doing it, then don't do it. That now brings me on to overclock settings. If you do have any overclock settings on your hardware, then remove those settings and launch the game and see if that has fixed the issue. Because if you have overclocked your graphics card or any other hardware in your computer, you could run into a lot of issues when trying to play Warzone Pacific as well. So once you've done all that, and if you still have the same problem, then the next thing you need to do is to close down any programs or apps that you have running in the background when you are launching Warzone Pacific. This means if you have a web browser open, close it, a music player, close it, Discord, close it, OBS, close it, just absolutely anything, just close it all down, launch the game and see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is go to the location of where you installed your game. If you're unsure where you installed the game, then you can find this out through the battle.net app. I will show you how to do that now. So once you have the app open, you now need to click on the Warzone tab and you then need to click on the settings cog. You now need to click on to show in Explorer and this will open up the location of where you installed Call of Duty Warzone Pacific. You now need to go to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder and you then need to scroll down. And once you find the Modern Warfare launcher, you need to right click on this.exe, go to properties. You now need to click on compatibility and you need to tick this option that says run this program as an administrator. Once you've ticked it, go ahead and press apply and OK. And you then need to do the same for the Modern Warfare.exe. Right click on it, go to properties, 
You then need to select compatibility and then tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game and see if it fixed the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is try launching the game through the Modern Warfare Launcher and don't use Battle.net. So you simply just double click on this .exe and see if that works. If that doesn't work, then the next thing you need to do is close all this down. And you now need to right click on the start menu icon and select settings. You now need to click on gaming and you now need to select the Xbox game bar and you now need to toggle this to off. Once you've done that, you now need to select captures and we now need to ensure that background recording is also turned off. Once you toggle this to off, you now need to select game mode and you also need to ensure that game mode is turned off as well. Once you have turned off all three of those settings, go ahead and launch Warzone Pacific and see if that fixed the problems that you're having. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon again, but this time you need to select power options. You now need to click on additional power settings. If you're using Windows 11, you might need to search for additional power settings. So once you're on this screen, you now need to select high performance. And once you change the power plan to high performance, go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolves the issue. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is open up your documents folder. Once you're in your documents folder, you now need to find Call of Duty Modern Warfare and you simply need to right click on this folder and you now need to go rename. And we now need to rename this folder to something different I'm just going to call it backup and then press enter. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game and this is going to refresh all your settings that you have set within the game and hopefully that will resolve the issue if it is a setting or something that's causing the problem with your game crashing, freezing or giving you a dev error. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is keep Call of Duty Warzone Pacific open. I'm going to launch my game now. Alrighty, once you have loaded into game, the first thing you need to do is select the options button in the bottom left hand corner or press F3 on your keyboard. You now need to select the graphics tab at the top and you then need to go across to quality. You now need to go through your graphics quality settings and just change everything to the lowest setting. Once you have done that, go ahead and press apply settings and you now need to scroll down and you then need to click on restart shader installation and then click on restart and once that has finished restarting the shader cache so basically deleting your shader cache go ahead and launch into a game and see if that fixed the issue if that did then you can slowly increase your graphics settings again but also keep an eye on the vram usage down the bottom here you do not want this to be too high otherwise you will run into issues with the game and that will cause it to crash, freeze, or just give you a dev error. So once you've done all that, and if that still didn't resolve the issue, the next thing you need to do is go back to your Windows desktop. You now need to open up the start menu and type in CMD. You now need to right click on command prompt and go run as administrator. You now need to type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and then press enter. And this is going to search your Windows system files to see if it can detect any issues with the files being corrupted. And if it does detect a problem, then it will attempt to repair and restore those files. Once this has finished and if it did detect any issues, restart your computer and then launch Warzone again and see if that fixed the issue. If you're still unable to play Warzone Pacific, then the next thing you need to do is open up the Battle.net app again. You now need to select Warzone at the top, and you then need to click on the settings cog. You now need to click on game settings, and you now need to click on additional command line arguments, and you now need to type hyphen, and then D3D11, and press done. And this is going to force Warzone Pacific to run in DirectX 11. Go ahead and launch the game and see if that resolved the issue with the game crashing. If that didn't fix the problem, then the next thing you need to do is click back on the settings cog 
and this time you need to click on scan and repair. You now need to click on begin scan and this will now check if any of the game files have become missing or corrupt. Once that has finished scanning, go ahead and launch the game and see if that fixed the problem as well. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next easiest thing to do would be to uninstall the game and install it again. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope the video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then hit that subscribe button. And if you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.